The legendary John Wayne became an icon of American cinema through his starring roles in dozens of westerns. Throughout his impressive career, Wayne shared the screen with many leading ladies. Beginning in 1930, when he starred with Marguerite Churchill in The Big Trail, spanning almost 50 years to the shootist, his 1976 film with Lauren Bacall. Here's our list of John Wayne's most notable leading ladies. At number 10, Capucine. Capucine was a French model and actress who graced television and movie screens from the 1950s up until the 1980s. She was a close friend of Audrey Hepburn and appeared in The Pink Panther, What's New Pussycat, and Song Without End, which earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. Capucine joined John Wayne in the movie North to Alaska. Wayne stars as a prospector, and Capucine plays a substitute fiancé, who Wayne has to bring back to the Great North for his partner. At number 9, Sophia Loren. Italian actress Sophia Loren is a Hollywood legend who shared the screen with the likes of Clark Gable, Charlton Heston, Peter Sellers, and Marlon Brando. She appeared alongside John Wayne in 1957's Legend of the Lost, which tells the story of a travel guide and a woman of ill repute who venture into the Sahara Desert together in search of treasure and a lost city. At number 8, Joan O'Brien. Actress and singer Joan O'Brien has starred alongside actors like Cary Grant, Jerry Lewis, and Elvis Presley. Interestingly, she played a nurse opposite all three. She and John Wayne appeared in two Western movies together, The Alamo in 1960 and The Comancheros in 1961. In The Alamo, Wayne appeared as the legendary frontiersman Davy Crockett, while O'Brien played a captain's wife hiding out during the battle. At number 7, Gail Russell. The beautiful Gail Russell was signed by Paramount Pictures right out of high school. She starred with John Wayne in 1947's Angel and the Badman. 1948's Wake of the Red Witch, and 1956's Seven Men from Now. Angel and the Bad Man was a big hit, and also the first movie produced by John Wayne. He played the fearsome gunfighter, Quirt Evans, and Gail Russell appeared opposite him as a Quaker girl who steals his heart. At number 6, Angie Dickinson. Angie Dickinson is known for her starring role in the 1970s TV series Police Woman, but she's also appeared in more than 50 films over her illustrious career. She and John Wayne teamed up for two movies, Rio Bravo in 1959 and Cast a Giant Shadow in 1966. Dickinson won the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer for her performance as a beautiful gambler in Rio Bravo. At number 5, Marlene Dietrich. German-born Marlene Dietrich was an actress and singer whose career spanned nearly 70 years. She's the ninth-ranked actress on AFI's list of the 50 greatest screen legends. Dietrich shared this screen with John Wayne in three films, Seven Sinners in 1940, and The Spoilers in Pittsburgh in 1942. In Seven Sinners, she starred as the saloon singer Bijou, who catches the eye of the Navy sailor played by Wayne. At number four, Joanne Drew. Joanne Drew worked as a model and performed on Broadway before moving to Hollywood in 1941, where she was quickly discovered. By 1948, she was starring opposite John Wayne in Red River, and they teamed up again the following year for She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, where Wayne played a captain tasked with evacuating women before an Indian attack. Drew played his commanding officer's niece, Olivia Dandridge. At number 3, Vera Miles. Known for her performance as Lila Crane in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, Vera Miles starred in three films with John Wayne, The Searchers in 1956, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance in 1962, and The Green Berets in 1968. In The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Miles and Wayne were joined by none other than Jimmy Stewart. At number 2, Claire Trevor. Between 1933 and 1982, Claire Trevor appeared in a whopping 68 films. She won an Academy Award for her performance opposite Humphrey Bogart in the 1949 film Key Largo. She joined John Wayne for a total of four movies, along with Allegheny Uprising in 1939 and Dark Command in 1940. Trevor also starred alongside Wayne in two of his most critically acclaimed movies, 1939 Stagecoach, which is widely considered Wayne's breakout film in 1954's The High and the Mighty, which earned five Academy Award nominations. And at number one, Maureen O'Hara. John Wayne's best-known leading lady is Irish actress Maureen O'Hara. Throughout her impressive career, the beautiful O'Hara appeared in iconic films, including The Parent Trap and Miracle on 34th Street. She and John Wayne starred together in five films over more than 20 years. Rio Grande in 1950, The Quiet Man in 1952, The Wings of Eagles in 1957, McClintock in 1963, and Big Jake in 1971. O'Hara honored her Irish roots in The Quiet Man, where Wayne played a boxer retiring to the Irish village where he was born. What do you think of our leading ladies? Leave a comment to tell us your favorite. 
And don't forget to subscribe to the Western Mania channel for updates on our latest movies and TV shows.